Hi and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to learn how some new additions to the properties panel on Photoshop 2020, the November 2019 release, can save you time. Ok, in the properties panel you can easily find even more controls now for document, pixel layer and tight layer properties. Without navigating through multiple panels and dialogues, the properties are shown contextually for the selected content. Here you can see the three panels that show you all the different properties for the different things you're in, like the document, the pixel layer and the tight layer. Right, here you can see I've got a three layer document and I've got two of them that are actually active. Now what happens is if I go and I click underneath the layers and it's so now no, no layers are actually active. Well this now in the properties panel gives me the properties of the document. And you can see I've got canvas properties, rulers and grids properties, guides properties, but the new one is down at the bottom is quick actions. And these are buttons that are contextual, so related to the document you may want to change the image size, you may want to crop the image, you may want to trim the image and you may want to rotate the image and, and these buttons are there to get you to places quicker so instead of you having to go through menus if you want to change the image size I just click on the image size button and it brings up the image size dialog for me. If I want to crop it takes me straight into the crop tool so I don't have to go and find the crop tool. Now if we go along and say okay well we've got layer 0 so I'm going to click on that so now we're on an actual pixel layer and the layer underneath it is a pixel layer as well so now over here in the properties panel we can see that we've got the pixel layer properties and again we've got transform we've got the alignment options but down at the bottom now we've got some quick actions and these are two things that you can get access very quickly to, to things that you don't have to search for. Now there is a select subject. OK, well let's give that a click. So if we click on select subject, it will select. Yeah, that's not done a bad job really. And now if I wanted to, to mask out that background, then all I've got to do is go down to the mask icon at the bottom here of the layers panel and click on it. And that will put a mask on and it will delete that background and that's fine. But I've had to do a couple of things to do that. Right, so if I didn't want to do that, let's just get rid of that mask. What we're given here now Adobe is the remove background button. And this basically does exactly the same as we've just done, but it just does it on one click. So if now I just click remove background and you wait a second, ba bump it's gone that background. Okay, so that's the pixel layer. The next one is a text layer. So if I've got a text, I've got a text layer here of say some text and I've got flying high. Okay, and it's got a little bit of a drop shadow on it so it stands out a little bit. But now we've got type layer properties. And the type layer properties again go down, well just a minute, we need to make that a little bit bigger. Down at the bottom where we've got quick actions, we've now got convert to frame and convert to shape. Okay, and these are things that you might want to do. So let's say I wanted to change this flying high text now into a frame. Well, if I just click on that button, it says, do you want to rename it? Give it a name. Yes, I do. And then it's changed it automatically to a frame. And you can see up here, it's actually converted it into a smart object first, and then it's made it into a frame. So you can see now that I've got flying high as text inside a frame. OK, let's just undo that. We'll do undo content to frame and then we'll try convert to shape. OK, let's try that. Click on that one. And it now converts it to a shape, which is basically now again, it's converted it to a smart object, but now it's, it's, com it's converted it to paths. So I can edit this now with the two tools here, the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. 
Well, the path selection tool will let me, it puts all the points up, all the corner points and cusp points. And the direct selection tool will let me edit those points now because these are all paths. So I can go over to one of these points in the top cups, just a minute, I've moved it. And I can grab one of these points and pull it out and now I can, I can edit the text. So let's try the F, I'll try from the bottom. No, that didn't work. Let's try again. I missed it. There we go. And I can pull that out and create my own specific text. Let's have a bit of a recap. There's a new addition to the properties panel called Quick Actions. Now these are contextualized buttons to give you super quick access to features that you may want to use in those particular circumstances. I think it's a winner. And that's really all, all there is to it. A great addition to the properties panel quick actions to get to your places quicker. Well, I hope that was useful. If it was, please subscribe or leave a comment under the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button at the bottom of any page on my website, livelinktraining.com. And while you're there, check out all the other videos on Photoshop, Lightroom and photography. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.